We're back to give you the legal edge. Every now and then we hear about heroic citizens who spring into action and help someone in need. We would like to think that we would do the same, right? But occasionally people give advice to not get involved because it might create legal liability if something goes bad. Well, here's what attorney Brian Waldman has to say about that. So it almost feels weird to say this, Brian, but should people you know, not come forward and help because of the risk of potentially being sued and the liability and if something, you know, goes awry? Yeah, well, I mean, the easy answer to that, in my opinion, Siobhan, is people should always help if they can. And the perception, I think, among a lot of people in society who aren't involved with lawsuits and litigation, I think it's very easy to sue someone else. Mm -hmm. It's not. The reality is it's very hard. The person bringing the lawsuit has the burden of proof. They have to prove a number of things, including in a civil case, that there's a duty owed. And there's really, you know, to, to, you have to owe someone a duty of care. And that only exists in most cases if there's a special relationship between the plaintiff and the defendant in a lawsuit, like a store owner and a customer or a, a physician and his or her patient. People's fear, I think, is if I come forward and help when I'm not otherwise obligated to do so, have I created that special relationship? Have I created a duty where I could potentially set myself up for being sued when I wouldn't otherwise have been sued? So the laws are, that, that apply in these cases are called Good Samaritan laws. And they're there to protect Good Samaritans, to encourage people to be good citizens or Good Samaritans by giving them a certain level of legal protection if they do come forward. And what those laws do is they basically say, in an ordinary situation where there is a special relationship, the duty of care is, is a reasonableness standard. A physician has to behave like a reasonable physician. A store owner has to behave like a reasonable store owner. When someone comes forward as a good Samaritan, say a, you know, a, a physician who's not working, just happens to see an automobile crash and, and goes to the aid of the victim, the standard then becomes not what's reasonable. But if you want to succeed in a case against the, the good Samaritan, the good doctor in this case, you'd have to prove more than that the doctor acted unreasonably. You'd really have to show that the doctor or the good Samaritan acted recklessly or grossly negligently, which is a very, very high standard, very, very difficult to prove. So beyond all the ordinary difficulties in bringing a lawsuit, there's this extra layer of protection that we create to encourage people to be good citizens. Okay. So bottom line, if you see someone in help and you are able to help, you know, go ahead and do so. Yeah. Be a good person. The yeah. law is not going to punish you for being a good person.